Hello friends, welcome back to my shop. We have a boatload of stuff to go over, so let's get right into it. So, the first thing is I may have bought a CNC lathe. I say may because I technically don't have my hands on it, but I've basically committed to buy it. I'm just working on getting it moved here. Um, it's an old Hardinge uh, HNC CNC lathe. Um, mechanically, it seems to be in immaculate condition. Uh, the drive electronics for it are ancient, so it's going to need a full-on retrofit. Uh, thankfully, I've actually done a retrofit on some industrial equipment in the past, so it's not super out of my wheelhouse. Um, but it's got like 600 volt three-phase power that runs all the motors, so that's something I'm going to have to do. Either convert it over to 220 three-phase or find something. Anyways, um, so there'll be more to come about that, um, but I'm uh, basically just working out all the logistics to get it moved here. The problem is it's also 300 kilometers away, uh, and it's like 3,000 pounds. So I can't just go and pick it up and put it on a trailer and drive it up here. I gotta rig it and transport it and whatnot. So uh, I'll have more details as that progresses. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited about that. And the gentleman who uh, who is selling it to me might occasionally watch these videos. So I appreciate it, man. Um, I will uh, I'll definitely make good use of it. Moving onward. That's why I've been working on the garage so much. Uh, basically finding a location where I can put all the stuff and, and have everything in one location. So I'm not just running around and ducking through stuff um we talked about last week the company coming in to do some foam filling in the pad they came and they did it which is awesome uh they did the whole pad in the garage and they also did part of the driveway leading up to the garage uh because there was a little bit of hollow there as well and especially if i have a forklift or something driving on that i i just want everything stable i don't want to uh i don't want to poke a hole or uh make a crack worse or anything especially the garage floor i plan on either epoxy coating it or doing something to it um so i don't I don't want it moving around and ruining all my work. Um, so foam filling seemed like seemed like the easy way to go. You can do mud jacking as well, but I don't know. I looked at the benefits of both. And poly foam filling was a little more expensive, but it just seemed to have a lot more benefits uh, for the applications I need. So I went with that and I'm super happy with that. Last part of the garage basically is uh, getting the mudding and taping done. I've been kind of doing that whenever I can. Um, I'm pretty much done that. I did a boatload of mudding. I did a boatload of sanding. Um, so next is paint. I actually wanted to do painting this morning, um, but my final coat of mud is still drying. Uh, so I will probably end up painting that as you're watching this video. And then I can put the lighting in, then I can clean the floor, and then we'll have a we'll have a space for the big the big tank to come sit. In machining related news, I made this thing. So this is a uh, a mechanism, a proof of concept mechanism. And uh, I talked about this years ago, actually. I was sitting at my desk um, in a video that I made a couple years ago talking about like a wave mechanism that where you could spin it and it would disengage and spin it again and it would engage. That's that's what this is. Um, basically, at the time when I drew it, I had no way to machine it. Um, now with my fourth axis, I decided to try and see if uh, see if it would work. And it actually, it works remarkably well. Uh, this was the third iteration um, that works actually well enough that I just put it in my pocket. And uh, I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it's enough that I can uh, play with it. And I just, I just click it incessantly to try to figure out uh, what part's going to wear out first. The cool thing is that's, if you want to consider that one gate. So like, let's say, uh, let's try to explain this here. So you'd have like, there's position zero and gate one, let's call it. And now you go right back to position zero, no matter which way you turn it and whatnot, right? Um, a click click mechanism. So you could basically just repeat the same action would go to like gate from gate zero to gate one and then from gate one to gate two and then from gate two to gate zero so you just go click 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 and it keeps flopping states i built one of those too i actually designed one of those and machined it and it almost works um with a little bit of coaxing it works but it jams up here and there when i'm clicking it and it's just it's very very small components all in one area like this looks big this looks like a half inch body but this is actually the components all fit within a quarter inch diameter um hole which was my goal because i want to get it into a 3 8 body and that's what's taking me not the longest amount of time is being able to shrink this mechanism small enough. I can make it big, that's easy, but making it small, that's difficult. Uh, so anyways, I'm very happy with that. I have no idea if it's going to come anytime soon, but I do know, um, bah, but I do know that um, having access to uh, maybe a bit higher precision equipment um, will definitely help in that regard. Hence, hence the machine that we talked about earlier. In pen related news, uh, I basically wanted to be working on the... That was cool. That was, I, I sold a pen right as we were talking. Anyways, in uh, in pen related news, I wanted to have some of the uh, copper flux units and the multi metal flux units and some weird custom ones uh, that I had requests to do. Uh, I wanted to have them like this week or uh, next week, 
Um, but honestly, with the garage stuff and the lathe stuff and dealing with riggers and shipping and driving around and like I have to drive to this lathe to pick it up and organize everything. That's a three hour drive one way and a three hour drive back. So anyways, a lot of things we've been fighting for my time. Uh, so I'm gonna have to push that back. C'est la vie. That's the way it's gotta be. Um, I don't know. I would, I would normally feel worse about this, but I actually have pens on my site right now, which is a rarity. I never have pens on my site. Um, so the black ones I think are all sold out. There's a couple distressed ones, I believe. I don't know which one just sold that we heard. Um, and I think, think there might be a subnautic i'm not entirely sure but anyways if you want to get your hands on one of those now is the time um, because i don't think i'm going to be making anything for the next couple weeks here just it looks like it's a a storm of uh, logistics ahead of me so uh, we'll get through that and then uh then we'll get back down to brass tacks which is what i like to do i like this part i don't like just the just the typing part i like the actual building part so anyways that's that so remember like a couple weeks ago i had my office at like 30 degrees uh because i was doing that abs printing trying to minimize warping I built a box thing for it. So if I just zoom in and use my finger, there we go, that thing right there. That's a uh, just a foam core box with a little uh, plexiglass window on it. I put my little thingamatic in there and uh, basically now it just sits at like 40 degrees, 38, 40 degrees uh, and prints ABS. It's been printing ABS since last week. I printed, I don't know, 20, 20 boxes or something like that. It's not particularly a fast printer, but uh, it's doing well. So that's all it does. And I, I just shut it off right now while I'm shooting this video. So it's not so annoying, but. Other than that, other than that, it is going continuously. So, yeah, should get me closer to my 300 odd boxes soon enough. That's where we're gonna leave it for this week. I have a bunch of stuff I have to get to and get finished. Um, I'll see you guys next week. We'll have some updates on everything. Hopefully the garage will be well lit and painted and looking good. Until then, do whatever it is you do. Uh, enjoy whatever it is you enjoy. And I will see you next week. Take care, bye-bye.